Well, it's better than last season, but we're still not where we need to be. Hello? Oh, hi, Boston. What's up? A trade? Well, uh, what are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, mate, we'd all like starting pitching, but, uh, you know, what's in it for me? Interesting. Okay, you know what? You got yourself a deal. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to Season 2, Episode 3 at the Colorado Rockies. And today we are going to be playing the Chicago White Sox in some interleague play. Uh, but before that, we need to catch up on what's happened since last episode. You can see we are, well, we're bottom of the division. We are doing slightly better than last year. And despite being bottom of the division, we're actually only four and a half games out of the wild card. So we're not doing too badly. It's, the thing is, it's just that the, the, the Dodgers are absolutely, they've lost eight games all season. And we are midway through May. They are absolutely running away with this thing. Uh, but anyway, there is a little bit to catch you up on since last episode. Uh, most of it off the field. So let's have a look and see what's happened, starting with the trade. That we have done with the Ross, uh, the Red Sox. So the player that we have given up is Tyler Anderson. Now we did just get him in this season. He wasn't doing a terrible job for us, but I wouldn't say he was doing a brilliant job and he was a free agent at the end of the season anyway. So we sent him off to Boston and in return, we have got Christian Vazquez. Now, not only is he an amazing, amazing catcher, he's not the worst with the bat and he is also highly regarded as a clubhouse leader. Uh, he has two years left. He's a free agent at the end of next season. Uh, he's, he's on six and a quarter million a year, which is something we can very much manage. Um, so I think, let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I know you guys, especially in the Discord, there's a link to that in the description, have been sort of preaching to me the importance of a catcher. I mean, that's pretty much the best defensive catcher I've ever seen. And like I say, he's not the worst with a bat in hand either. Um, so that's what we've done. Hopefully you guys agree with it. But uh, I think that could be a good move for the future. Now, there is a little bit else to catch you up on. We have had one injury, and that is Jeff Hoffman. He has gone for five weeks, which is a little bit of a blow. Um, though, again, he has been okay this season without being spectacular. Um, now, we've obviously had to make some changes to the lineup. So what has happened? Oh, the other. Okay, let's have a look and uh, see what we've done. Uh, we'll start with the actual lineup itself. Uh, the person that's come out is Sergeant Jeffers to allow Vasquez to come in. Uh, actually, that's all we had to do for that side of things. Um, on the pitching side of things, now the other injury we've got. It's not a serious one, but uh, it's it's Tice who's on day to day. And he's been on day to day for a little while now, um, so he is also unavailable for us right now. And the other person that we dropped was Valdez. Valdez not really doing it for us. His ERA was uh, over eight, pushing up towards nine. Uh, he'd had six starts and he wasn't, he just wasn't quite getting it done. So he sent him back down to AAA. Now into the team and into the starting rotation has come Jackson Kawa. He is, uh, well, potentially very, very good. He uh, was down in AAA. He had two starts, 12 innings pitched uh, and gave up one earned run. So I think the form was there to suggest he was ready to come up. Uh, so we've called him in. And the other person that we've called in to start is uh, this guy, Antonio Santazella. Uh, again, he was in AAA and he was doing a really, really good job. Uh, seven starts, ERA of 255, a whip of 130. Uh, he already had an ERA plus of 195 and a war of one. So again, he was doing a good job. I thought he was worthy of, uh, of a chance uh, up in the Major League team. So those two have come in and also into the bullpen, We've bought Aaron Fletcher, um, so that uh, he gets a chance, and we'll see when Ty, with, is it Ty Tice or whatever his name is, when he's fit again, we'll kind of judge who's staying and who's going. Um, but that, those are the changes that we've made to the team since uh, since last episode. Now let's have a look and see how we've got to where we are here. Now we left off. Where did we leave off? San Diego? No. Oh, no, it was, it was San Francisco at the 8-0. So we started off with a series against the Brewers. Now, we lost game one. Um, we lost it. Well, we scored five runs in the first innings, and then we lost it in the ninth. So it's a frustrating one, that one. Uh, the man responsible for blowing that save was Ramiro, basically. He gave up two runs, and then Pazos finished it off for him. Uh, uh, so that was disappointing. Game two, where are we? 8-5 win here. Uh, the main thing that happened in this one, it was the Trevor Story Grand Slam in the third. So we scored five runs, which is ultimately where the game was won. Uh, and Story, we can see him here. Um, he hit the Grand Slam, which was good to see. But overall, he's not impressing me. I've I have actually tried to trade. He was a free agent into this year as well. Uh, so that was that series. And then we ended up losing the last game to lose the series. Then we played the White Sox. We lost both games. Uh, game two, look at that, for a ninth inning stuff up. We conceded five. 
which is, again, very disappointing. The man responsible this time was Oberg, the guy we put in to, uh, to try and close games out for us because Fernandez couldn't do it. And Oberg, apparently, <laughs> he can't do it either. So that was really disappointing. Uh, then we played the Phillies. We uh, lost game one. But we went and won the next two, which was good. Uh, then we had the Tigers in Detroit. Uh, we won the first game, and I thought, all right, here we go. And then we lost the next two. Uh, we played the Cincinnati Reds. We won three of four. Uh, we won game uh, game three of the series in the 10th. We, st we stole it late. We got two in the ninth to take it to extra innings, and then we went and won it with an Arenado walk-off home run, which is uh, the best way to win a game, isn't it? The old walk-off home run. So that was brilliant. Um... Then we played uh, the, the San Francisco Giants, and well, you could see they're the team just above us in the league. We went, we lost uh, four in a row, losing three to them, which was disappointing. We did win the last game of that series. We played the Miami Marlins again, a disappointing result. We won game one, lost the next two. Game one of the series against the White Sox, we've won 9-3, which was a good result. We're about to play them in game two. A quick look at the expanded standings here. Um, you can see that Tapia is leading the way in terms of batting averages. Dull is, uh, well, he's hit, both their hit streaks are done, but Dull and Arenado have the two longest hit streaks of the season so far. Robbie Ray is leading the way on strikeout, or third in strikeouts, but he has gone off form a little bit of late. Um, but overall, it's not it's not going too badly. The White Sox, who are playing today, are 22 and 26, so they're... They've played a game more than us. They're roughly the same the same sort of level that we are at. So it, it would be a really good game if we could get there uh, to get the result. Everybody's numbers for the season so far, you may have already seen them as I was sort of going through everything. But there's the pitching side of things. If you want a little bit of a longer look, just give her a quick pause. Uh, oh, Gray's back in as well. Did I say Gray was back in? He's come back from injury. Uh, so that's uh, that's the other person that's back into the rotation. Uh, and the hitting side of things, you can see it there. Brendan Rodgers in a little bit of a slump. David Dahl is, uh, well, he has just been a revelation ever since uh, ever since we took over, hasn't he? Uh, so that is the hitting side of things. All right, let's check these lineups. All right, and this is it. It's Brendan Rodgers leading us off at second base. Hopefully he gets out of that slump. David Dahl bats second in left field. It's Arenado, the third baseman, batting third. McMahon at first base for this one. He bats uh, clean up. It is Tapia batting fifth in right field. Travis Story, the shortstop, bats six. Palenko, the designated hitter, he bats seven. It's Jackie Bradley Jr. He's back fit. He's in center field and bats eight. It is Christian Vazquez, the new catcher. He bats nine. It's going to be a first look today at Jackson Kawa. Uh, he has had four starts for us so far. ERA of just over five. Uh, so hopefully he can push that down a little bit more today. Look at that whip, just over one. Um, it's the home runs he's giving up, I think, that's killing him right now. Uh, and for them, we are up against Reynaldo Lopez. Now, his ERA is 4.75 so far this year. His whip is 130, ERA plus of 105. He has a positive war, but only just. Let's hope we can uh, get up these matchups look even, don't they? And here we go. Welcome to Chicago. It is Brendan Rodgers to lead us off. He had a wonderful start to the year. He was well over 300 with his batting. Um, and he has dropped away a little bit of late. So hopefully that will um, that will change. Reynaldo. Well, we don't really know what we're going to get from him because it's not our player. Here we go. Full count on Rodgers. And he has grounded at the second base to get this game underway. Which is a little bit disappointing. So this brings David Dahl to the plate, batting 333 this year in a hot streak. Now, he recently got his 500th career hit. Uh, he's not going to add to that there as he uh, swings through strike three. Um, so that's that's excellent. He's, I think he's the 26, 27, something like that. Arenado gets it through the infield, and that is going to be a two-out double. Can he turn it into a double? He can. So Arenado slides into second. Excellent, excellent stuff. And this is going to bring McMahon to the plate, who we're kind of... In a difficult, not a difficult, it's a good place to be in, not being able to tell. He's batting 323 this year, but between him and Evan White at first base, um, as he watches strike three go past, we're kind of just picking whoever is doing the job right now. And right now, it is uh, it's McMahon that's doing that, that is doing the job. Kowa comes in now to pitch for us. Magrigal batting four, uh, sorry, 246 is the uh, man at the plate, and that is not going to get the job done, and that is one away. Next up, it is Marcel Ozuna. Now, he's batting 225 this year. One and one's the count on him. And, oh dear, that looks like it might be leaving. And it is. Well, that's not ideal, is it? Over right field, 389 feet. And Kowa has gone kaboom there a little bit, unfortunately. That was, uh, yeah, not what we wanted. We are sort of just 
scratching around trying to find a starting rotation for now. I think he has the potential to do it, but obviously not right. Not yes, you know, that's that's not ideal. But it's just one hit. Ilya Jimenez comes in. He of course was a star of our New York Mets team back in Out of the Park 20, and he gets himself a one-out single as well. And in comes uh, Mo Moncada now, who's batting 263 this year. Two and one's the count on him, and that has been popped up. And that should be easily dealt with out there by Jackie Bradley. And that's two away. Mazzara comes in now. He's batting 263 this season. One that O is the count. And again, it's popped up. Again, it's Jackie Bradley. And again, that will do it for the innings. We do give up a run, though, which is obviously disappointing. But early days, we can come back from that. Tapia now batting 362, leading the league. Let's see what he can do with the 0-1 pitch. And Tapia has dropped it in, has he? Oh, no, center field is there and makes a good catch. Unlucky for Tapia. Story now, only batting 193, but with 21 RBIs, he's a real frustration, is Trevor Story. The problem we have is he's hit that quite well. That's going to get over center field, and that will be a one-out double for Trevor Story. He's on 17 million a year. The owner wants us to renew him, and he's a decent enough defensive shortstop. He just can't bat, and he's injured on the play. And he's out of the ball game. Perfect. So hopefully Hampson comes in. He does. Now, he better not be, he used to be pinch running. He better stay in the game with a shortstop. Polanco comes in the DH. He's batting 247 this year. There goes Hampson looking to steal third. We've, we've talked about this crab, but on this occasion, he gets there. And we'll take it. One away. Runner at third. What can Polanco do? It's a full count. Come on, mate. Get it in the outfield for us. Polanco. He grounds at the second base. That will score the run. We've tied her up straight away as Polenko gets the RBI. And it's going to be Jackie Bradley with two out, no one on. He is batting 165 this year. We weren't expecting much from him with the bat, but we were maybe expecting a little bit more than that. The 0-2 pitch. And he just stands there, watches it go past. And that'll do it for the top of the second. But we're tied at one. Yasmani Grendel comes in the bat in a hot streak and batting 221. What can Kawa do with that? He has popped it up. Tapio in right field should have a simple catch. He does, and that's one away. Uh, Abru comes in now. He is batting uh, 287 this year. One and two is the count. Can Kawa get himself a strikeout? No, he cannot, but it's popped up. And it's going to be... Oh, Vazquez. Defense, defensive of 70 rating, you say. Lewis Robert now with the man at first and one away. One and two's the count. All right, that's a good response there from Kawa. We'll take that, and it brings up Tim Anderson now, the shortstop batting 237 this year. It's going to be a... No, it's not going to be a walk. Is it going to get through? It's not. Over that we go to the base, and that will do it. I missed who was playing shortstop. Uh, I'm assuming it would be Hampson because there's nobody else. Yeah, it is Hampson. There's nobody else really that can play there. Christian Vazquez comes in though. He owes us for that drop. One and two's the count. And Vazquez has popped it up into, uh, well, popped it out, I should say, into center field. And he does repay us a little bit. And it's a leadoff single. So we'll call that even, Christian. In comes Brendan Rodgers now, who's 0 for 1 today. Two and two's the count. Come on, Brendy. He watches strike three. It, to be fair, it looked like a pitch you may be, be leaving anyway David Dull who's 0 for 1 comes in now I said he just recently had his uh, oh he's hit that absolutely crushed that and it is 3-1 David Dull a monster home run it is number 10 of the season 424 feet and that was a thing of beauty now he recently got his 250th career RBI that makes it 252 and he has been hitting home runs for fun lately. Arenado comes in now. He's one for one today. Two and two's the count. And that is a ground ball to third that is going to get him nowhere other than back in the dugout. Two away. And in comes McMahon, who's 0 for 1. Full count on him. Come on, Ryan. He has grounded at the third again. And that will do it for the third innings. But not before we add two. We're 3-1 up thanks to David Dull. And his absolute bomb out there into right center. Nick Magrigal comes back up to face Kawa. Now, I think he got out first time around. This time, he has grounded it. Good save by Brendan Rodgers. Oh, for and that's a second error in, well, effectively two innings. Because we haven't gotten out yet in the third. Oh, and it's McMahon at first base that gets the error. It's not Rodgers. I take it back, Brendan. Not your fault. Azuna comes in. He hit the home run last time up. 
first pitch swing this time and that has been popped up Tappy is out there and that should keep the runner at first as well and that's one away Eloy Jimenez now who's one for one full count on him Jimenez swings through strike three there's another one for Kawa Moncarada now comes up he's 0 for 1 2 out 1 on 1 the nose the count that should be do it, it should be it over the first uh, shot uh, over the second base even and that will do it for the third and we are 3-1 up and the error doesn't cost us Tapia to lead us off he's 0 for 1 today 1 and 1's the count on Ramil come on mate he has grounded at the short and that will be 1 away it's Hampson now with his first at bat of the game he recently, he's, I've missed what he's batting, but he got his 100th career RBI in a recent game. Can he add to that? Not today, or not that game anyway, not that game. Not that. What is wrong with me? Not that bat. And that's Hampson out for two away, and Polanco comes in now. He's 0 for 1, but he did drive in the run last time up. 1 and 2's the count. Polanco swings through strike 3. That'll do it for the 4th. We can't add anything. And let's see if we can uh, we can get the uh, the White Sox out nice and quickly here. Kawa to continue to Mazara, who's 0 for 1. One and one's the count. Mazzara makes it 3-2. That is absolute, <laughs> absolutely crushed. The home runs are absolutely killing Kawa, aren't they? He's looking okay, and every now and again, he just sits one up, and it goes for a ride. Grandel comes in now. He's 0 for 1 today. Three and one's the count, and Kawa has a walk there. So still with no one out, we have one on for Abreu. Who is 0 for 1. 0 oh, and 2 is the count. Have him. That could be a double. No, we're just going to get the one at first. Assuming we can catch. And I'll tell you what. The throw looked quite high. But we did get the out. Runner goes to second though. Louis Robert comes up now. He's 0 for 1. First pitch swing. That is to third base. Arenado has that. And that will be 2 away. And the runner stays at second. Come on, Kawhi. Let's get uh, Tim Anderson end this innings, please. 1 and 0 is the count. That is up the middle. Oh, can Jackie Bradley stop the run from scoring? He can. Runners at the corners with two out. Come on, Jackson. Meg Regal comes back up. He's 0 for 2. 0 and 2 is the count. That is going to be out. McMahon has that. And we get out of a bit of a tight spot there. Just giving up the one run. We have the lead still. But it is now 3-2. And Jackie Bradley, who's 0 for 1, comes in. 3-0. You know, get yourself on base here, please, Jackie. He does just that. Lead off walk. Wonderful stuff. Vazquez comes in now. He's one for one today. Full count. Come on, Vazquez. He has. Has he sent it? Oh, I think he has. Christian Vazquez. Welcome to the Rockies, mate. It is five to two. Absolutely crushed. 436 feet. It's almost landed at the exact same fan the uh, David Dull home run landed at. Some lucky fans got two souvenirs out there, and it is five to two thanks to Vazquez. In comes David Hale now to face Rogers. Rogers is 0 for 2. 2 and 2 is the count. And Rogers strikes out Yannick. I tell you what, Vasquez, he's dropped a sitter, but he's uh he's showing he's more of an offensive catcher than a defensive catcher this game. David Dull, who cracked one out of the stadium last time up. This time he gets it through the infield, and it's gonna be a one-out single for David Dull. What a player he is. He's, I tell you what, I thought Adri uh, Adriano, that's a footballer. Arenado might be the MVP pick. I tell you what, David Dahl's not doing himself any favours, uh, not any harm, I should say. And Arenado gets his second hit of the game. That's two on one out for McMahon. Now, can he do something? He owes us for an error as well. Two and one's the count. McMahon pops it up. And it's not going to get David Dahl to third as everybody goes back to where they came from. And that is two away. And it's going to be Tapia who's 0 for 2 with a chance to drive in some runs. Two and one's the count. Tapia. He pops it up. And that should do it for the fifth. But not before we take two more onto the uh, onto the lead. It's 5-2. We're leading hits, runs and errors. It's comprehensive. Oza, uh, Ozuna sorry, comes in. He is 1 for 2. That one was a home run. What can Kawa do? He strikes him out to get the bottom of the fifth underway. And it's Jimenez now who is one for two. Two and one is the count. And Jimenez pops it up. We've got Tapia in the vicinity. He makes the play. That's two out in the bottom of the fifth. And Moncada comes in who is 0 for two. Full count on him with two out. No one on. And Kawa gives up the walk. Mazera comes in now. He hit a home run last time up. First pitch swing. Two out one on 
Mazzara hits it well. Jackie Bradley's there and he makes the play. That gets us out of the fifth. We still have our three-run lead. And Hampson will lead us off. He is 0 for 1 today. 1 and 1 is the count. Hampson grounds at the third. He's quick, but I don't think he's that quick. And that is one away. It's going to bring up Palenko now, who is 0 for 2. 3 and 1 is the count. And he draws a one-out walk. And it brings Jackie Bradley up to the plate. Now, he got a walk last time up. They've made another change. Bruce Rondon, we had him at the Jays, didn't we, for a brief period. He was a good pitcher for us at the Jays, but... Oh, he likes us. He remembers Bruce Crabb, and he has given up a single that has got uh, our friend there, Palenko, over to third. So with one away, we have runners at the corners, and it's Vazquez already with one home run today. He's two for two. What can he do? There goes the stealing Jackie Bradley, and he gets the second. And, well, now we're in a good place if Vazquez can get himself a hit. 0-2 oh, is the count, and Vazquez does get himself a hit. And I tell you what, Vazquez has helped himself to another RBI. 3-for-3 three three today. He's not a defensive catcher. He's a, he's a hit-up. That is runners at the corner still with one out. Brendan Rodgers now, who's 0-for-3 in this slump, so it's no sign of going anywhere. Or does it? He's popped it up. It's just going to stay in, but it should be deep enough to get Jackie Bradley home. It is, it's an, uh, well, it's going to be a sack fly, isn't it? So it's not going to count against, uh, against Rogers that one. And it's David Dull, who's two for three with a home run. Two out, one on. Dull gets it up the middle. The 0-2 pitch as well. Vazquez will try to get to third, and he will get to third. We still have runners at the corners. Two out. And it's Arenado with a chance. He is two for three today. Can he extend the lead? Full count. Arenado gets it up the middle, and Arenado does extend the lead. David Dull will get the third. We still have runners at the corners. It's 7-2. And, well, it's happy days. It's 8-2, sorry. And in comes McMahon, who's 0 for 3. What a chance this is to add to your RBI tally, mate. Full count. Two out. Two on. And that'll end the innings. But we add three in the sixth to go 8-2 up. And Grandel will come in as Kawa continues. Grandel is 0 for 1 today. I think he had a walk last time up. 1 and 2 is the count. He's hit that well into right field. That'll be a leadoff single. Okay. Not ideal. Come on, Kawa. Let's, uh, let's keep this going. Abreu now, who's 0 for 2 today. First pitch swing. Are they going to try and steal? They are not. They've popped that up. Two hands, Vazquez. Two hands. There you go. That's one away. It's Louis Robert now to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. 2 and 0 is the count. Come on, Jackie boy. Oh, it's deep. Dull's going back to the wall. Makes the catch. And that is 2 away. And the runner stays at first for Tim Anderson, who's 1 for 2. Come on, Jackson. 2 and 1's the count. He has hit that well. It's going to skip to the right field fence. Can Tapia keep the run from scoring? He's got it in nice and quickly. And... It cannot prevent the run from scoring. So it's 8-3 to three now. It's an RBI double for Anderson. And that'll do it for Kawhi. I tell you what, he did okay there. It's Connor Green coming in. Now, we haven't seen too much of Connor. He's new for this season. ERA of 117, though. And potentially, a uh, well, he could be a starter for us as well, potentially. But he's doing a good job out of the bullpen right now. Madrigal comes in with two out the man at first. He's 0 for... Th uh, man at second, sorry. He's 0 for 3 today. 1-1, one and one, and that is up the middle, and that might be a second run of the innings, and that's harsh on Kawa as Jackie Bradley's throw doesn't get there in time. He's now given up four runs, uh, or four earned runs, I should say. It's back to 8-4, to four, and we'd like to end this innings, please, uh, Green, if we can. It's a two-out walk, two on suddenly with two out, and a home run now as H Jimenez comes in. It just makes it nervous. One and two's the count. Jimenez swings through strike three. Catcher misses it. Vasquez has had a nightmare. It loads the bases, brings tying run to the plate. And where did this all go wrong? It's Moncada who's 0 for 2. 2 and 2's the count. We need this out. Oh, and we get it. Wonderful stuff from Green. Well, overall in the six weeks, extended our lead, but that got a little bit nervy, didn't it? All right, Jose Ruiz comes in to pitch to Tapia, who's 0 for 3. Come on, Ramel, get yourself a base hit, mate. You're supposed to be the best hitter in the league right now. Two and two's the count. Tapia watches strike three go past. That's one away. Hampson now, who's 0 for 2 today. Come on, Gre Gre Garrett. Come on, mate. 
He has grounded the full count pitch over there to shortstop. That's two away. And it's going to bring in Polanco now, who is 0 for 2, but somehow still managed to have a good day at the plate. Polanco, he has popped that up, and that'll do it for the seventh. We stretch with an 8-4 lead. Not as comfortable as it was, but it's still a good position to be in. Green to continue to Mazzara, who is 1 for 3. That one, of course, was a home run. 1 and 1's the count. That is popped up. McMahon's going back and makes the play, and that is one out. Grandel now, who's one for two. Full count on him with one away. That is well hit. It's staying in just. Jackie Bradley's there. He'll get it in, and it will hopefully limit it to just a double. But we were inches rather than feet away from giving up a home run there. But the important thing is that it did stay in. Runners at second. Junior Fernandez comes in now. Now, we've seen him struggle this season, but his ERA, he has got his ERA down to 5-7-1, so he has improved. Abreu is at the plate. One and two is the count. One away. Man at second. Junior Fernandez gives up the hit that will bring in a fifth run for the White Sox. No, it will not. Jackie Bradley does really, really well. Runners at the corners with one out. Come on, Junior. We really need this. It's Robert who's over three at the plate. Two and O's the count. Can we get a double play? Can we get a double play? There's one. There's two. Junior Fernandez has only gone and done it. Wonderful work. Wonderful, wonderful work. And we get out of that without giving up anything. It's still 8-4 as we go to the 8th. Evan Marshall comes in to pitch for them. Jackie Bradley at the plate, who's 1 for 2 with a walk as well. 2 and 2's the count. And Jackie Bradley swings through strike 3. That's one away. Vazquez, who is 3 for 3 with a home run and RBIs coming out of his backside. First pitch swing. Vazquez, well, it couldn't quite continue, could it? And he gets out for the second out of the top of the eighth. Rogers, who's 0 for 3, comes in. He caused sack flied last time up. 0 and 1's the count. Come on, Brendan. He has grounded that to third, and that'll do it for the top of the eighth. Still no further runs. Does Fernandez come back out? He does to face Tim Anderson, who's 2 for 3 today. It's a first pitch swing. What's Junior got for him? He's got a ground ball to Arenado. He'll get that with his eyes closed, and that is one away. Brings in Nick Madrigal, who is one for four. Two and one's the count. Come on, Junior. That is back up the middle, and Jackie Bradley has it. Keeps it to a single. His 50th hit of the season for Madrigal. It brings up Azuna now, who's one for three. That one, of course, was a home run. A double play again would end the innings. Fernandez, one and two's the count. He gets the strikeout instead. So that's wonderful stuff. Jimenez comes in now with two away. Oh, and one is the count. And Jimenez makes it 8-6. He was lining one up, wasn't he? And that is huge. Fernandez gives up a two-run home run. 434 feet. And suddenly, this is very much game back on. Now, will that do it for Junior Fernandez, or will he keep going? He will keep going to Moncada, who's 0 for 3. 0-1 oh, is the count. And that should do it. Into the shift. Hampson has it over to first. And that'll do it. We go to the ninth. Our lead, though, which was once six, is now two. David Dull will leave us off. He's three for four today. 1-0 oh is the count. David Dull, is it going to drop in? No, it's another diving catch out there in center field. And that is one away. Arenado, who's three for four. One and two is the count on him. And he watches strike three, which brings it up to McMahon, who is 0 for 4 and had a horrible time of things at the plate. It's a full count. McMahon lines it back to the pitcher, and that'll do it. And we have two runs to play with. We have one run to play with, really, don't we, in the ninth. It's Scotty Oberg coming out to try and close it out. He's going to face Mazzara, who's 1 for 4. And let's see if uh, Scott Oberg can actually be a closer for us. He's converted six of four opportunities so far. And, well, that brings the tying run to the plate. With the leadoff single. Come on, Scotty, mate. Grendel, who's two for three today. Oh, and one is the count. That could be a double play. Can Hampson turn it? He can. Oh, good work, boys. Good work. Two away. No one on. Abreu to the plate. He's one for four today. Come on, Scotty Oberg. Let's win this thing, mate. Let's win this. It's a ground ball to Hampson over to first, and we have beaten the White Sox. 
So I don't think there's any doubt the star of the show today, Christian Vasquez, what a YouTube debut that was for him. Uh, and surprisingly, defensively, he was quite poor. Uh, but everything else about his game was brilliant. So there we go. That is Vasquez. Now, if you're wondering about the Trevor Story injury, um, it's a bruised wrist. I mean, come on, mate. Suck it up. But uh, yes, yeah, so he'll be back tomorrow, which is it makes you wonder why he bothered going out in the first place. But anyway, like I say, Hampson came in, did a decent job, and a quick look at what that does for the standings. And, well, we're still there or thereabouts. Four and a half games back from the wild card. I mean, the Dodgers are gone. We don't have to worry about them this season. But wild card places are still very much in our sights. So, uh, so there we go. But guys, that is it for today. Let me know what you think of the trades and the changes and all the things that we've done. Um... I think we're slowly starting to find a lineup. Uh, you can see the starting rotation is, well, it, it's all changed, isn't it? There's three guys there that didn't start the season. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, the actual, and the lineup itself, I think we're doing okay. Um, so that is, uh, yeah, that's all, all pretty much good news. Bullpen, I mean, we're getting better. We're, actually, a bullpen ERA uh, is second in the league. So the bullpen is actually, is actually fine. It, it's more than good enough. The starters are what's letting us down a little bit with their ERA, but we'll we'll work on that as we find find the right guys for the job. And so that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We'll be back next time for it's uh, the, the draft, isn't it? The draft is on the 4th of June, which will mean we're going to get beaten by the Dodgers. <laughs> so uh, that'll be one to look forward to. But until then, guys, I've been Aussie Bell, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.